What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve problem 2.1 of Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, for letter A, 12 equal charges Q are situated at the corners of a regular 12-sided polygon. For instance, one of each numer numeral of a clock face. What is the net force on a test charge capital Q at the center? In letter B, suppose that one of this one of these twelve Qs is removed. Let's say the one the, the one at the six o'clock marker. What is the force on Q? Explain your reason reason reasoning carefully. So problem two point one is a four part problem, but we're going to focus only in this video parts A and B. Now so, for example, if we're going so for letter A, if we have, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So, let's say these are the 12 sides of your uh, polygon. Okay, so let's label the following. So this is, let's say, if we're going to follow a face of a clock, so this becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And just like any, uh, any clock, so each of, the, each of the numbers around the clock, around the polygon, has a unique counterpart on the other side okay so if we place a charge at the center let's say uh, a similar charge as the charges uh, on these corners say this is q so you will notice that uh, this charge let's call this q1 will exert a force on q let's say a repulsive force so let's call this f1 now because q7 is on the other side of this polygon this will also exert a force with the same magnitude because the pairs have the same set of magnitudes the pairs have the same uh, distances remember that f is equal to 1 over q uh, 4 pi epsilon sub 0 times q times capital q over r squared okay so if this is the force exerted by seven and this is the force exerted by one the magnitudes of the two forces are the same but they are pointed in opposite direction so in other words the two forces a force exerted by q1 and q7 will just cancel each other okay so this will just cancel each other the same goes for the rest of the uh, the rest of the uh, the charges. So in short, the net force on Q in this configuration is zero. Very simple, right? Now, what happens now if one of the twelve charges is removed? So let's say we remove q6 okay so this will now be removed so right now we are now left with 11 charges so as i mentioned earlier it, uh, the uh, each uh, two opposite pairs in this polygon will just the, the forces will just cancel each other okay now if we remove the six o'clock the six o uh, the six o'clock charge so that means the 12 o'clock charge uh, will not have a pair on the other side. So that means the force exerted by Q12 okay, on Q will not be cancelled because there is no charge at this point. Okay, So that means the force, uh, the net force on Q will just be the, that will be equivalent to the force exerted by q12 
which is equal to 4 pi epsilon sub 0 times q over q over r squared, where r is the distance between the central charge, capital Q, and charge Q2. Okay? And the direction will be pointing uh, away from Q12. If, okay, the sign of Q and Q12 are the same because if the charge if the charges are the are uh, if the charges if the two these two charges have different signs while it will still have the same magnitude the direction will be towards q12 because the force will become attractive okay so that's it that's the solution to problem 2.1 a and b so as an exercise, uh, I, I would like you to, I suggest that you answer uh, letter C and letter D. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.